have webbed feet, right? All right, so where do deers mostly live? What kind of environments do deers live in? Again, like what? The forest, the woods, and maybe like a grassy field. Okay, last one. All right, so this one's kind of similar to one of the ones that we have already on the board, right? So right off the bat, this just looks like what kind of feet? Chicken feet, right? Because that's what I thought when I looked at it. So we know that it's a bird, and I'm just going to draw it. Looks like chicken feet, right? So I'm going to put bird track. Right? And what can chickens or birds do that have to do with climbing, grabbing, swimming, jumping, and running? Well, we know that they run because when you try to catch them, they're running away. They run. Chickens can also grab. Um, uh, yeah, they can grab with their feet. I don't know if you've ever seen that before, but they do grab. Um, and they also climb as well, right? And where would you most likely see a bird? Yeah, forests, because forests have trees, woods, um, grassy areas, because sometimes grassy fields have trees, just anywhere that has trees, right? All right, so we finished this, and of course, I have questions. So I'm going to turn this around. So we only have two questions today. I try to keep it very light. We only have two questions today. Our first question says, pick one of the animal's adaptations. What did you notice about its environment compared to its movement? Number two, explain how you would modify that adaptation to make it better. All right, so picking any one of these tracks that we used over here, and we're going to answer these questions. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to do a duck. I'm going to do the duck because I feel like the duck would be a lot easier to explain. So I'm going to put duck up here. And we know ducks have webbed feet. Okay, what did you notice about its environment compared to its movement? All right, so let's turn back. Well, we said that the duck swims in its jumps and its environment it lives in is the lakes, the ponds, and the swamps. So what about its environment? What did we notice about its environment compared to its movement, right? So one thing we noticed right off the bat is that ducks can swim, right? And we know that if anything swims, automatically they live in water. So we didn't list anything that had to do with anything that had to do with land, right? It was all water. So we said ponds, lakes, and swamp, um, swamps. So we can say... Compared to its movement, we notice that it mainly lives in an aquatic environment, right? All right, number two, explain how you would modify that adaptation to make it better. Is there any way that we can modify this adaptation to make it better? And we're just talking specifically about its feet. Well, we could say the size, right? Um, the bigger the fins, the more faster it could probably go, right? So we'll say we'll we'll say its size. 
so if the webbed feet were bigger, it would be able to swim faster. All right, there's definitely no right or wrong answer to that. So that's all that I have for you today, and I will see you next video.